Hey guys, how's it going? Eminem Gaming here and today we're back with another video and today we're going to be talking about Horizon. Um, now, quick disclaimer, this is all rumour, speculation and all that good stuff, but this is from a very trusted source. This is from Shinobi602. My couple of videos ago I did about um, Dead Don't Ride and I'm pretty much like sold on that name just because Shinobi said it. Um, and then you've got the fact that you know, he said about Uncharted having, it's, it's so big, like, they couldn't fit it on the disc, so you're going to have a download code for your multiplayer, which doesn't bother me, but it, that's something that's going to happen. Uh, I'm taking that as a fact, even though Naughty Dog and Sony have not come out and said it. So, I I trust what he says, he's, he's a legit source. Um, but yeah, I mean, I also want to say, I am a huge Horizon fan. I got goosebumps when I watched that e3 trailer it was so surprising i didn't expect it and it blew me away that was like some people it was final fantasy 7 remake which is understandable it's a huge game um some people it was uncharted 4 again amazing but i knew that was coming do you know what i mean i knew that was going to be there um this blew me away that was m my e3 in a nutshell was horizon zero dawn and even from a naughty dog fanboy like myself i said this could uh, have a higher Metacritic than Uncharted 4. So from a Naughty Dog fanboy, th that's pretty impressive. So I'm really excited for this game. So I'm very disappointed. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am a little bit disappointed. Um, but let's talk about the three reasons I think it has been delayed or will be delayed or whatever. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. So the first one is... Um, the games it would have to go up against now new ips always struggle compared to its next game or whatever uh, for example uh, uncharted one uh, really struggled in sales until well i don't know struggled but it sold a lot better once uncharted 2 came out simply because uh, people realized it was a great franchise and then they went back and bought uncharted one on the ps3 so you know it can have that spiral effect like uh for example uh you look at nino kuni uh nino kuni 2 uh didn't really sell that greatly um but it got a, a lot of uh you know plaudits and now everyone's excited for nino kuni 2 um nia didn't sell very well but everyone's excited for nia or automata so you know what i'm saying like um it can happen with new IPs. They they struggle to sell, you know, and then from the hype from it, the second one sells better. Um, so you look at the holiday season. You've got Final Fantasy 15. You've got Mafia 3. You've got Call of Duty whatever <laughs> number 73 or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, you've got uh, Battlefield 5. You've got probably a Ubisoft game rumored to be Prince of Persia. If that's true, I'm not too sure. You've got um. Gears of War 4, which again is an Xbox exclusive or whatever, but bear in mind, like, it's still going to sell pretty well and it's a big game to go up against. Um, so you look at that whole sort of spectrum, uh, would Horizon really do well in that? I think it'd do well, but a Sony, have Sony put so much money into this because I definitely think there's a high production value in it. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to deny that. So could this be the fact that you know, they want to make as much money as they can from this and market it, uh, really giving its own shine. Uh, you know, I, I could understand that. Would I be happy about that? Not really, but I could understand why they do it. Uh, the second one is, uh, and this is the most boring answer we could possibly give, the game ain't ready. Do you know what I mean? Like, the game isn't ready. Now, I don't think this is the case, simply because, if you didn't know, Gorilla is, is huge. Do you know what I mean? Like... Obviously, it's a bit unfair to compare them to, like, Santa Monica and Japan Studios because they're also publishers. Like, Santa Monica has its own indie division. Do you know what I mean? Like, within, it has its AAA division and then it has uh, people who work on, like, Journey and Fat Princess and all that sort of stuff. And similar with, um, you know, Japan Studios. Japan Studios pretty much took on Eco, Team Eco, and you know what I mean, but Gorilla is a huge studio, absolutely huge. And working on a game for five years, obviously not a full team, but working on a game for five years, 
uh, unless the game is like The Witcher 3 huge, which I don't think it will be, um, yeah, I think that they may just be, um, uh, but you know, I always say this, I've said this for Scalebound, I've said this for Uncharted twice, <laughs> you know <what> I mean, <laughs> uh, keep that one out, but uh, I've said this for every game that's delayed. I want the game to be the best quality. We all complain that, you know, a game's broken and, you know, Street Fighter would have sold a lot more if it delayed it. But it is what it is. Um, so delays are good. I always say that delays are good, in my opinion anyway. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that could be a reason. I'm not too sure. The final reason, I guess, that I think could possibly happen and maybe more likely... But I'm not 100% sure on this. Again, this is just an opinion. Possibly PlayStation 4, uh, 4K, Neo, 4.5. God, it's got so many goddamn names. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, PlayStation Neo comes out. Now, you have to launch a new console with games. It's just very simple. You know, uh, you, you've got to launch hardware with software. Um, and... You know, they need at least one, maybe two big games, you know, uh, to, to launch with. Um, you know, I couldn't imagine dropping God of War and this at the same time, but who knows. Um, so for me, I'm sat here like, is that the reason? Um, because I've heard a few rumours. Now, again, we don't even know. Sony hasn't commented on this, so take it for what it is. But, like, what could happen is... There's this October deadline. You've got to get your Neo versions for these games ready for the launch so that when the game comes out, you know, whether it be Call of Duty, whether it be FIFA, I, I don't know really what's coming out uh, around that time, Mafia. Um, when that game comes out, you're going to have two copies of the game, one upscaled and better frame rates and all this good stuff, and one regular version. Um, so that's possibility that they said, look, we, we can't drop two things at once. We can't drop PSVR in October and PlayStation Neo in October because that will be very expensive for people. So maybe we drop this early 2017. Uh, let the VR have its sales time. Let people, you know, get their wallets back up or whatever. Uh, bank accounts, you know, back in check or whatever. And then we drop this thing give people time from like e3 till april let's just say um e3 to april uh, to save up and get ready and gamestop and game and amazon well, not amazon but all these different retailers are going to have trading programs even if sony doesn't have its official one um that's a possibility now uh would i be angry about that yeah kind of you know i understand and i understand how the gaming industry works you know what i mean like you can't drop a console, a new console, whether it's just an upgrade or whatever. You have to drop it with at least one game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so I, I can understand that as a business aspect, that's something you would do. The problem is I want Horizon. <laughs> you know what I mean? I drop a Gran Turismo, even though Gran Turismo is a much bigger IP. I'm more excited about Horizon. So, yeah, I mean, that's just my opinion. I'd love to see if you d delayed Gran Turismo to 2017, fine. I'll, I'll deal with that. You know what I mean? Horizon was amazing. Like, Horizon was that new IP that everyone could get behind and everyone would just be buying and loving. At least, you know, the hardcore place. I'm not saying everyone, you know. <laughs> you know, all 40 million of the PlayStation 4 owners buy it. But I'm saying, like, the hardcore fans, you know, the people who, you know, I see on YouTube and Twitter and stuff, you know, uh, would were very excited about this game, you know. So, yeah, I'd have liked to have seen that. So, it'd be a bit annoying. That being said, if they drop a Horizon bundle that looks beautiful, I'm definitely buying it. Do you know what I mean? So, really, my annoyance is invalid. But, uh, you know, that's just my opinion. But um, what do you think, guys? Obviously, let me know. Do you think it's a possibility that any of what I've just said is the reason it was delayed? Do you think there's this really glaring, obvious reason that they did it? Um, obviously, let me know. Uh, let me know down below, um, and always reply to you. But what does this leave Sony for the rest of the year? Now, I want to uh, just say, you know, um, before we go all doom and gloom, and we let's sell our PS4s. You know what I mean? F you know, forget Uncharted. You know what I mean? Forget that. Uh, you know, I'm going back to the Wii U. Do you know what I mean? Or whatever you want to play. You know, before we go too overboard with this whole thing, 
bear in mind, PlayStation has a very strong year. Um, it's got Ratchet and Clank. I mean, it's out in the America, but in the UK where I live, it's out Friday. Cannot wait. It's downloading now. Um, you know, in uh, they've got um, Christ. They've got so many games. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, um, Alien Nation, uh, Uncharted 4 in May 10th, uh, Valkyria Chronicles Remaster, you've got um, uh, Shadow of the Beast, you've got No Man's Sky, you know, you've got a ton of games, man, and that's just in three months, so uh, certainly we're not going to be lacking in games, uh, you know, Star Ocean 5's coming out in June, July, um, July for me, June for America again, uh, which I'm not salty about at all, it's not like I wanted the game, but... Uh, um, so, yeah, I mean, a ton of games. Let's be honest, we're certainly not going to have much money by the end of the year anyway. But um, PlayStation has kind of struggled, uh, not putting out games, but putting out games within that three-month period from October to December. They, For some reason, they struggle putting them out then. Is it intentionally? Is it not? I'm not too sure. Um, I, I really am not too sure because, like, is it because of the marketing deals? Like, like they say to Call of Duty or whatever, look, we've got this game, you can't put your big AAA exclusive within November because, you know, you've got the marketing deal with us. That's very unlikely, but who knows? Um, is the games just not ready? Do they, do they just release them where they think they're going to sell better? I'm not too sure um, on that. But what I'd love to see you know this year because we haven't really had one for three years now bear that in mind that sounds that sounds horrendous you know three years but bear in mind we have a ton of games in between you know what i mean it's that three month period that we'd like to because that's when the xbox drops all its games uh, is in the holiday season um uh which was a little bit counteractive last year because halo 5 didn't sell that well uh, it sold well but it didn't sell well for a halo game or not as well as people would hope um gears of war ultimate edition didn't really sell that well. Um, Rise of the Tomb Raider didn't really sell that well. So, you know, when you look at it like that, are Sony smart dropping them in the summer? You know, maybe, possibly, who knows. Um, but what I'd love to see is Gran Turismo Sport. You know, Gran Turismo Sport, if it's ready, like I said, you know, delays and all that stuff are good as long as, you know, as long as the game... Uh, you know, it's not broken on launch. Delay it if you have to. Um, but if Gran Turismo's ready, um, drop that in the holiday season. And I don't care what game's coming out. <laughs> like, I don't care if it's uh, Call of Duty. I don't care if it's Gears. Any game. Um, Gran Turismo's a beast. It sells incredibly well. So uh, you certainly don't have to worry about... <laughs> the game uh, struggling in sales-wise for Gran Turismo. Uh, so if you drop that holiday season, uh, along with, because it's going to have a VR mode, you know, around about that time, that's also another rumours I heard. Now, bear in mind, this is all rumours. None of this could be true. It's all an illusion, you know what I mean? But um, another rumour I've heard is that Sony have actually tied down Tekken 7. Uh, that's the rumour. So what they could do, is if they have tied down Tekken 7 as a console or full exclusive, uh, is literally just say, look, that's our big holiday game, Tekken 7. I think that's quite a big game, so I don't think too many people would be upset. So, you know, maybe that's the idea that we've got Tekken 7, we've got the VR mode, uh, we drop it around about October and make it a PlayStation 4 exclusive. Again, a rumour I've heard, you know, that'd be awesome though, you know, in my opinion. Um... And that's definitely a triple-A game, you know, there's no doubt about it. Tekken 7, huge, you know what I mean? Not as big as Street Fighter, but it's still a huge game, you know what I mean? In my opinion, anyway, you know what I mean? Um, but let me know. Obviously, rambling on, absolutely rambling on, making no sense at this point. But uh, let me know, what's your opinion, guys? What do you think PlayStation should drop? Uh, would you like to obviously see Nier Automata? Probably butchering that name. Would you like to see Neo? I would. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would, if that could drop. I don't care if it's technically AAA or indie or... I don't care what it is. I want it. You know what I mean? But uh, obviously, let me know what you think, guys. Um, and let me know, are you disappointed? Are you like me? Are you a little bit disappointed that Horizon may probably have been delayed? Um, 
or are you just like kind of glad because <laughs> you know what I mean not but glad that you you know saving yourself a little bit of money because it's ha- going to be a hell of an expensive year this year guys um like i say um if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and um i'll catch you guys in a new video very soon